Good, kind of just getting ready to defend here. And uh, by the way, I didn't point this out before, but note that the um, contracted pioneers that were there, there were four of them in that squad. We'll go ahead and find them later, but they're, they're wandering around here somewhere. But there were four of them to the squad, meaning he has uh, upgraded contracted pioneers, the commander ability somewhat. So uh, these guys are now moving around here, trying to get out. And uh, let's see if they do Panzerfaust. They're in a great position too. I don't know if they're going to or not though. But, uh, oh, recoup losses is activated. What's going to happen? Lots of men here. Oh, uh, Panzer Shrek shot. Panzerfaust, Panzerfaust, Panzerfaust. Oh, look at that. Every single one of them takes a shot and basically just one shots that entire armored Greyhound. So uh, do take note, by the way, if you are encountering... Uh, ooh, hey, look at this. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of uh, the assault rangers are here kind of putting a lot of pressure onto the contracted pioneers. It looks like they had to retreat. That's this guy right here. Um... Note that if you are fighting pile spammers, Greyhounds are not really the way to go. Especially if they're high level pile spammers. That's the thing. Uh, I'm going to have to look up that army item again. The one, uh, this one right here. Oh, come on. Where are you? This one right here, the one that gives you the Panzerfaust ability. But I believe it's like level 45. So if your opponent is not level 45, don't expect uh, Panzerfausts out of the uh, Pioneers. Uh, so meanwhile, just capping away here. Wilson's Rifleman, uh, undeterred by all of this violence everywhere. Just a handful of guys here. Single dude up here in the front. And uh, looking pretty good. So uh, that's probably my one big criticism for Obi-Wan Kenobi is just this continued use of Greyhound armor car. I think, wow, look at how effective that is. Seriously, man, just two Panzerfausts without armored skirts does a lot of damage. And at this point, I think these guys are honestly just trying to keep pace because they want to get a final Panzerfaust. They're just trying to stay ahead of it, so that cooldown of gun. Here comes the Panzerfaust, right into the rear armor. Oh, and it just destroys the main cannon. It looks like that uh, Greyhound gets away for today. Uh, but Wilson's right from it now. Ooh, looks like he gunned down that entire squad there. So, I do love the Assault Rangers. That is definitely the right move. Grab Assault Rangers. If you happen to have already gone uh, motor pool, by the time that you realize what's going on, get some Assault Rangers. But otherwise, I almost really want to see... Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi back tech and get weapon support center. Machine guns, snipers, all of that is super effective. Oh, God. And let's see what we've got going on here now. So, uh, he has leveled up his contracted pioneers so that they can just build bunkers that already have MG42s in them. And you can see that's exactly what they're doing. Even amidst combat, they're just pigpiling on these bunkers. And boom, here we go. Another machine gun nest. And now all of a sudden, uh, in the middle of this fight, these assault rangers are just stuck in the middle of uh, suppressing fire. But they're not going to be deterred. They fire themselves up and charge on past, but they are all very weak. I don't know how effective they're going to be, but uh, just kind of getting out of the way here. And this poor armored Greyhound, you know, I really don't like this unit. I've said it before, but I would almost always rather have just a regular Greyhound. I know, I know it has a bunch of benefits. It's probably, if you had to get a hero Greyhound, the armored Greyhound is the right one to get. And uh, these guys are retreating, but oh no, they're slow retreating. Check them out. Uh, they were exhausted due to having fired up, and so now they have a really slow retreat. Oh god, oh god, the Panzerfaust. Look at that. Did you see that? It's just... A firing squad of coordinated Panzerfaust abilities. And note, by the way, they do get those, uh, they do have a 30% reduction. Uh, where is it? There we go. On, on uh, ability munitions cost. So that's pretty cheap for him to do. That also includes, I believe, the health kit upgrade as well. So a little bit of noodling going on around here. But now, now check out the second phase of this build. So I, I pointed out to you, the, the thing that I really enjoyed about this was the timing on the Kampfcraft Center and the fact that he pretty much... Uh, didn't build the Kampfcraft Center until he could just go straight into Vet 3 with his Pioneers. But now check out his kind of late game transition is just, okay, I'm tired of going back and forth. So now I'm going to use my uh, contracted Pioneers to just spam bunkers everywhere. Everywhere. So now he's, he's kind of laid off on building uh, tons of these guys. You can see he still has a ton of them. But let's see here. We got four, eight. 12, 13 different, uh, 13 different Pioneer squads out there right now. But now he's kind of laying off the gas a little bit on that and going for the MG42 bunkers. Again, these aren't going to win him the game, but they are going to slow down any attempt at uh, his opponent trying to take care of things. So, Unfortunately, Obi-Wan Kenobi still getting these Greyhound armored cars. Uh, wow! Again, I'm just continually amazed at how effective those are. Uh, just look at look at that. You just don't expect that from just a, a handful of pioneers. You don't expect to lose an entire Greyhound that fast, but you will. So watch out for that. These guys are very, very effective at that, especially with Vet 3. So 
here comes uh, phase two now. You can see he does have a Krieg Barracks up, and he went ahead and got the Blitz anti-tank gun. Uh, if you're not familiar with this unit, the Blitz anti-tank gun can fire thrice from camouflage without being revealed. Man, massive, massive blob right here. Vet three pioneers with uh, two of them, three of them having flamethrowers. Super duper effective against infantry. You got to look out for that. I really think the proper counter to pioneers, if you can muster it, is machine gun squads and your own flame engineers. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna fight them close, at least, you know, trade your own engineers for their engineers. And machine guns with suppression is really the way to go. That's the best way to kind of control them. Mortars too are good, but get those after you have control of the situation. And just check these guys out. Man, dude, so much damage to those armored cars and these annoying MG42 bunkers just kind of popping up everywhere. But look at this one. I don't even agree with the position on that one at all, but it, you know, to some extent it doesn't matter. Just kind of clutter up the battlefield. So <clears throat> now we do have this bunker uh, kind of under attack from the side. It's kind of awkward, but at the same time, you know, it's just kind of plugging the gap here. So, a um, little bit of footsie going on here. Uh, pretty much the only person here who has any say in the matter is Bazooka Joe, who is just kind of occasionally doing some damage to it. He's reducing it a little bit, but I kind of like this. So, these guys can come up. They can repair from here. Uh, looks like the assault rangers try and move in, but no. Oh, he picks one of them off. So, these guys are just kind of baiting them in now at this point, thinking, oh, you know what? We can actually repair really quickly. Look at that health going up here. Uh, two squads of contracted uh, engineers, and so they throw a hand grenade in, taking one of them out. So you can see they're just kind of back and forthing over this bunker. But finally, the double flamethrower engineers show up, and some of these guys in the left and right are in, are in uh, good cover, and they're taking extra damage here. Retreating the ones that take extra wounded, uh, just burn a nation going all over the place, and finally Obi-Wan Kenobi admitting he's not going to be able to do too much damage here, has to retreat. You can see a couple of mines on the field here too. So, Blitz anti-tank gun now hanging out. Uh, that's a great idea because that, that'll once and for all counter this whole Greyhound thing. So hopefully uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi gets away from the Greyhounds and uh, gets something else. At this point, he, he needs machine guns. He needs snipers. Machine guns, snipers, maybe a mortar, but all, all weapon support center stuff is great against these kind of guys. Uh, wow. Just, man, they are so effective. So a couple of skilled riflemen still left around, but there is just a limitless supply of uh, pioneers moving in just kind of chasing him off look at this pioneers to the left of me pioneers to the right of me ah and uh it looks like all these skilled riflemen are going to meet their end uh sitting on top of a tractor no one lives to tell the tale i think that was intentional that's how that's how pio spammers work they want they want to leave one guy alive so he can go home and warn his friends about what happened so and just check out the gall of these construction pioneers. They're just going to go ahead and just build these bunkers right in the middle of everybody. Uh, but unfortunately, I believe... Let's take a look here at Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, my God! <laughs> We've got reactive artillery right on top of everything. That, by the way, was off-map reinforcements. But that was exactly what Obi-Wan uh, Obi Kenobi needed right now. was just a big blob of dudes. Especially the bazookas are uh, very effective because there are all these bunkers out there. But right when he was most vulnerable, Got Bunkers managed to pull down uh, with his uh, reactive artillery, dropping that right in the very front of Obi-Wan Kenobi's base, totally defending his position. And now, as you can see, he's got double bunkers up here, overlapping fields of fire, really deadly. This guy over here as well. Just look at that. Look at that line. He is just completely, completely bunkered his opponent in right now. <laughs> oh, God. This is, this is just rude. Look at that. That is just freaking total defensive line here this is basically normandy these guys are coming off of the boats right now this is all ocean up here i I'm sorry are you guys catching my metaphor here but that's that's what i'm that's what i'm envisioning right now this is the german defense uh kind of coup de grace at the moment so uh this is never going to happen although you know honestly if he sat there and took a few more shots he could probably get this thing down but really the cost uh, the, the t toll on human life is too much he's going to have to get out of there so uh we do have a little bit of burnation going on in this side of the map a uh, whole bunch of pioneers just kind of uh, chasing away the remnants of those assault rangers. Uh, the rest of these guys capping off on the fuel, re-acquiring uh, this victory point. And as you can see, um, pretty much the process is complete. He has just managed to completely contain Obi-Wan Kenobi, take care of everything he needs, and uh, make a million bunkers in the meantime. So pretty much by the time that Obi-Wan Kenobi actually deals with these, and right now, is by, uh, by the way, is a great time to pump out an anti-tank gun if you got one, because anti-tank guns, super effective at picking off these bunkers. But just look at this. Oh, God, like I said, here comes the landing craft. Do -do -do, all these guys pop out. 
on the beaches. Oh, it's so horrible. The humanity. Just look at all this crossing fields of fire. MG42 vendors everywhere. Nope, by the way. Like I said, most of these gentlemen do have bazookas. And oh my god, poor lone Bazooka Joe by himself. Lining up the shot. Will he do it? Come on, Bazooka Joe. Don't think too hard about that. Just hit the broad side of the bunker and you're good to go. Uh, MG42 is firing everywhere. Oh, double shot there, Bazooka Joe. Will he get the shot? Will he get the shot? Bazooka Joe lining it up. Let's see. Boom! Yes, nice shot, Bazooka Joe. Takes out the bunker. I, I like to cheer him on whenever I can. But check out what's going on here on the left. T making full use of his Blitz anti-tank gun. He's making sure to take out this barracks. The barracks is the one thing preventing uh, an entire flood of pioneers from rushing into Obi-Wan Kenobi's base. So uh, good use there. And uh, reactive artillery now in the middle of all of these guys. Oh, the huge manatee. He's going to have to retreat right now. Most of these shots are going to land in the building, uh, and that's pretty good cover. Buildings are great cover against reactive artillery. I mean, <laughs> they're not that great, but they're a hell of a lot better than standing out in the open. But uh, as you can see, that Blitz anti-tank gun took out the one machine gun nest and now is turned on that barracks. And meanwhile, we have a huge blob of flamethrower pioneers with recoup losses activated. Just going to charge in and make a mess out of things. He doesn't even care. He's not really trying to win the game. Just trying to make a mess out of it, inflict some casualties on some wounded troops. As you can see, poor Bazooka Joe is caught in the crossfire. Will he survive? Yeah, he does. Hey, look at that. That's pretty good. So, let's see what's going on here. We do have the rest of these Bazooka Engineers, by the way, putting some pressure. It looks like they kind of made their way down the line. Uh, as I said before, these bunkers aren't necessarily permanent. They're not going to win the game. But they force your opponent to have to deal with them. And they are just annoying. Whenever I see bunkers like that, I just furrow my brow and face palm a little bit. I'm just like, God, I don't want to deal with that right now. I just want to fight a normal battle. So, very frustrating style of play to play against sometimes. Blitz anti-tank gun, realizing that uh, he's now in danger, is going to move away while everybody else retreats. And boom, poof, he disappears into the shadows. Blitz anti-tank gun, gone for now. So... Uh, good use, again, of these double bazooka uh, engineers. You get those guys from off-map reinforcements, by the way. Uh, those guys taking out some bunkers. But look, I mean, even with taking out, like, four or five or six bunkers, there are still all of these bunkers on the right-hand side of the map, uh, including two more down here as well. So really, really, really defended positions here. So Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of getting back in the game here, trying to recap this stuff, but you can tell he is just flustered with the amount of things going on. This is a very frustrating style of gameplay to play. Uh, I definitely understand that. So let's take a look at this base down. You can see, uh, once again, I'm going to say the same compliment over again, but now at the third tier, um, or the fourth tier, rather. Third time I've mentioned it, but... Uh, uh, again, this, this build goes smoothly into all phases of the game. Late game, he's just going to go ahead and get a bunch of Ostwins. He very easily could have pumped anything out of there. He could have gone for Panthers or for just regular old Panzers. Uh, but he went for Ostwins because pretty much everything that uh, Obi-Wan has in the field right now is infantry. So this will just kind of seal the deal for sure. But uh, let's see, looking around the map, you can see Obi-Wan Kenobi does have has regained control of the left-hand side of the map. But at this point... You can tell uh, Got Bunkers doesn't really care. Uh, he knows he's got this under control. Uh, look at that. Blitz Anti-Tank Gun made it all the way over here now, and he's good to go. So a little bit of Panzer Shrek. Johan chilling out right now. And uh, good control over the map right now. Enemy has 50 points left. We'll see. I don't suspect that there's really anything that uh, Obi-Wan can do. And, of course, here comes the Ostwin Flak Panzer. So a uh, single uh, very brave engineer decides to come up here and try and cap this fuel point. Uh, but I think that that's pretty much over. Ostwin's got him under control. Will he stop and take a shot with his bazooka? Will he do anything? No! He sits there and proudly displays d inertia, doing nothing whatsoever. So, uh, bunkers gunning down anyone who tries to get in here. Oh, we do finally have a sniper on the field by Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I think it's, a, it's too little, too late, and that's all she wrote. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been a... Uh, this was a long-standing request for more defense commanders because I, I don't have too many of them at high levels right now. But uh, I will try to bring you more of that as we go along. So once again, I am Harlequin Coho. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And good night, good game, good luck.